Hey guys, Matt Guzman here, back with another video, and today is going to be my September status update of Eagle Scout in only two years. So this one's just going to be a little different just because it's been two months, about about two months since my last status update, so I've actually gotten a lot more than usual, which is not bad, that's actually very, very good. So I'm very close to, towards getting my goal of Eagle Scout in only two years. So let's jump right into it. Towards the overview, there are 7 Scout Ranks, 16 Leadership Positions, and 21 Merit Badges that you need for Eagle Scout. So, what are the Ranks? The Ranks that I have, I have 5 out of the 7, and they are Scout Rank, Tenderfoot Rank, 2nd Class, 1st Class, and I am currently Star Scout. And that, all that leaves left is Life Scout and Eagle Scout. Again, that's 5 out of the 7 Scout Ranks that, that are in total in Boy Scouts, or Scouts BSA. Moving on to leadership positions, there are a lot of positions overall, but pertaining to leadership positions that'll count towards ranks and requirements, I've gotten Quartermaster, Den Chief, Patrol Leader, I am now currently Instructor, and also the top position in Scouts BSA, Senior Patrol Leader. So, the thing is about this is I'm actually switching soon because elections in my troop are coming up where every four to six months you switch around your positions and everyone in the troop gets a new job. So I've been senior patrol leader for a while now and I'm thinking of being just the assistant senior patrol leader so I don't have to do much pertaining towards the actual troop and I can focus more on my eagle stuff like my mayor badges and my project so I'm not focusing solely on the troop like I have been. So. That's 5 out of the 16 leadership positions that I've been, and I'm trying to get an assistant senior patrol leader and maybe another one just so I can, you know, get experience. For the merit badges, I've, I have a lot, so bear with me here. I have first aid, swimming, citizenship in the world, cycling, chess, personal management, environmental science, music, art, movie making, scholarship, Indian lore, animation, robotics, citizenship in the nation, digital technology, fingerprinting, camping, cooking, and an emergency preparedness. It is technically 20 out of the 21, but in actuality, because of the amount of eagle required I need, I actually only have 17 out of the 21. Because of the amount of eagle required merit badges that I have, I need four more in order to get Eagle Scout. So, pertaining towards Eagle Scout, what exactly do I need left to get Eagle Scout? Well, as I mentioned in previous status updates, I have already gotten Star Scout, so that's completed and I'm now working towards Life Scout, which is the 6th Scout rank. I'm 46% of the way there, and that's in progress. So for Life Scout, I actually need to do a couple things, well more than a couple, but the basics are you need to be active at least 6 months as a Star Scout in your troop, you also need to demonstrate scout spirit by following the oath, law, outdoor code, and explain your duty to God. You need to earn 5 more merit badges, so you have 11 in total, which obviously I do since I have 20. Uh, participate in 6 hours of service, but 3 of them have to be conservation related, so they're added to 6 hours. 3 of them. Uh, you need to be active 6 months in a position of responsibility. That's just another way of saying the leadership positions. Those are the defined roles that you can be that'll count towards ranks and requirements. And you need to use the edge method to teach another scout a certain skill. In the scout handbook, it lists all those skills you can teach another scout, but there's a lot, so I'm not going to list them all. Um, I can put them in the description, though. So if you're interested in that, look in the description. And the last two are just the casual participate in a scoutmaster conference and a board review. So, what requirements do I have completed towards Life Scout? Well, like I mentioned, I have 20 merit badges, so that means the 5 more I already have. Number 3 specifically says to earn 5 more merit badges, so that you have 11 in total, and out of that 5, you need to include any 3 additional ones that are required list for Eagle. So you may choose any of the 17 merit badges that are on the Eagle to fulfill this requirement, and Eagle Requirement 3 lists all the Eagle Required Merit Badges, so you can choose any of those to count towards this. And I did get the three. I got Personal Management, Environmental Science, and Citizenship in the Nation. And the two extra that I got were Art and Movie Making. So that's number three done. Um, when doing this, you want to make sure that you have the right amount, because you need the six from Star Scout, and then the additional five here, so you have 11 in total. And you need to make sure that 
three of those from this one, this requirement, it's requirement three, you need three more Eagle required merit badges. So when you're doing this requirement, keep track of how many merit badges you're doing and getting. Speaking of badges, the ones that I need to get are family life, citizenship in the community, communications, and the one I haven't started yet is personal fitness. That's why there's the bold outline, because that's important. Some non-Eagle required that I can get is archaeology, railroading, reading, and salesmanship. So those are the eight that I'm planning on completing by the end of my 18 months. So in about a year or so, I should have all of these. So that's plus eight that I'll add to my collection of merit badges. So I'll have uh, 28 in total, I think, 28 merit badges. However, I am trying to get 36 for a different reason, but that's a matter to discuss in a separate video. So wink, wink, hint, hint. So Eagle Scout, six months as a Life Scout. So not only do I need to have the six months to get the Life Scout, afterwards I need to be a minimum of six months as a Life Scout. So that's one full year I have as a minimum, but I only have a year and a half left, so I should be able to have enough time to complete the merit badges and the project, because you need 21 merit badges, and 13 of them have to be Eagle. I need six months in a leadership role, which shouldn't be too hard since I'm always in a leadership role. The only thing that'll probably take a while is the Eagle Scout Service Project, but that's a completely different topic that takes too long to explain, so this is just an update on how much I've done. So, considering the amount of merit badges I've done, that I'm 61% of the way through for Eagle Scout, and that's in progress. Hopefully by next year, around this time next year actually, like November, October-ish, I should be able to get Eagle Scout. But it just depends on how efficiently I'm able to work and get things done. So, the merit badges I've gotten over the past couple months, I have actually gotten a lot more than I thought I would have. First off, I finally finished Citizenship in the Nation! Yay me! <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this banner badge has been on almost all of my status updates because I was too lazy to finish it. But I finally got it done, and I think I made a video off of it too, so that link will be in the description on how to get citizenship in the nation. To be honest, it really isn't that hard. I was just procrastinating on it. It's more like you have to know the stuff pertaining to citizenship. So this is a pretty fun merit badge to do. Another one, digital technology. I got this done within a day. That was completed. I did a video off of this as well, so if you want to see that, that will be in the description. Fingerprinting. One of the simplest merit badges I've ever done it has five requirements. That, I got that completed. That link will be in the description. Camping. This has been on my list longer than any other merit badge because I've had this like started since almost the beginning. And I got it done! So yeah. Cooking. This was a hard one. It was just very long and tedious. Cooking is good if you're trying to learn how to cook, obviously, but also for planning and organizing because you need to plan the meals, organize the meals, and carry out the meals. So this was actually a very interesting one to do. Even though it's long, it's very worthwhile, and you can get a lot of experience in cooking. So that's completed. Emergency preparedness. I started it during summer camp and was able to complete it afterwards in my free time. Communication. Now, this is the one that I've been trying to get done. There's just one more thing I need to do, which is attend a public meeting. But that's I need to organize that, so that's that, that'll like be you know maybe next month thing. So that's in progress. Uh, also, citizenship in the community. I'm 29% of the way there. That is in progress as well. Family life. I have a lot to do actually. I only have one requirement done, so I'm 19% of the way there. But I am keeping track of my chores, which is one of the requirements you need to do. For 90 days, you need to keep track of your household chores. So I'm still doing that. So hopefully by the end of this month, I think that'll be the end of the 90 days, and I'll be able to get that done. So that's in progress. Salesmanship, that's 10%. That's in progress. Railroading, 3%. That's in progress. However, my brother got this done in one day. So if I ever have just one free day, I could probably just knock this out. That's 3%. Archaeology, that's 3% also, that's in progress. Reading, I haven't started it yet, but since I do read in my free time, I might start this soon because I'm trying to correlate my schoolwork towards Boy Scouts. So that'll actually be helpful to do towards. And the last one, 
personal fitness, I need to get this started soon because this also has a three month period where you need to keep track of your personal fitness. So I might start this soon as well by finding like time management things where I can fit it into my schedule. I haven't started yet, but I'm planning on starting it very soon so I can just get it done and, you know, like work towards my Eagle Scout project. So that concludes my status update of my September in the last, you know, two months since I've done my last status update. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions at all, please put them in the comment section and I will answer all of them. And thank you for watching my video. Make sure to check out the other videos. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.